All right, hope everybody's doing well again. So we just finished writing absolute value equations and how to graph absolute value equations. So now we're gonna learn how to take these absolute value Vs and we're going to write them as a piecewise function. So we're gonna set up our piecewise function over here. You got a nice little box. We're gonna set up the two conditions. So X is less than H and then X is greater than H. So you can select one of them to have the equal to sign. It doesn't matter. So for the first piece, you're gonna change the absolute value signs in the parentheses, change the sign of the right side slope, and then simplify. And then for the second piece, you're gonna keep the absolute value signs in the parentheses, but keep the right side slope, and then simplify. So, whew, sorry. So what we got here is for the left side, we got 3 times x minus 2 minus 4. So for the left side, it's kind of what we're looking at here, kind of getting used to it. All right, so for the left side, we're going to take our negative 3, we're going to flip that sign, and we're going to keep everything there, okay? So we're going to flip the sign for the left side, and then we're gonna simplify. So negative three X plus six minus four. So negative three X plus two. All right, now for the right side, we're gonna keep the sign and we're gonna flip everything else. So that becomes, oh, then we're just gonna keep it. So X minus two minus four. So three X minus six minus four. So three X minus 10, we'll keep them. So the big thing is for the left side, since we're going the other direction, we're going to flip it. So you got your vertex, that's a good giveaway. You can also count and go from there as well. So my left side here, we solved, we got negative three X plus two, and then X is gonna be less than or equal to two, because that's this piece, it's the X axis vertex, or the X part of my vertex. And then I solved the other one, so 3x minus 10, and x is going to be greater than 2. And we got our pieces. Cool. So kind of a quick intro. Now let's take a look at a couple more. So we're going to graph and write this piecewise function, so tying everything in together with absolute values. So if I'm looking at this, first of all, my vertex is going to be negative 4, 3. My right side slope is going to be negative 2. My left side slope is going to be positive 2. Okay, so we see the difference here. In order and getting our graphs, we talked about that yesterday. Your A term is your right side slope, and then you take the opposite of it, and you get your left side slope. So we're going to start over here at negative 4, 3. Sorry, negative 4, negative 3. I forgot that negative. Negative four, negative three. My right side slope is gonna be negative two, so right one, down two, right one, down two. And you can go left one, down two for your symmetry, and you got your sketch. All right, now remember our left side here. We're gonna flip the sign and leave it. So two x plus eight minus three, so two x plus five. So 2x plus 5, where x is less than or equal to negative 4. So we're using that one. And then my right side, we're just going to keep everything. So negative 2x plus 4 minus 3. So negative 2x minus 8 minus 3. So negative 2x minus 11. And x is going to be greater than our x value for our vertex. And we got it. All right, last one. If you want to take a moment, pause this, look at it, see what you can do, and then we'll come back and solve it. So first of all here, my vertex is gonna be four, five. My right side slope is gonna be one, so my left side slope is gonna be negative one. So if I come over here, four, five, of course I'm gonna run out of space because I chose to write everything there. I got my V and I got my sketch. All right. So now remember to find my left side, I'm gonna change that to negative and then simplify. So negative X plus four plus five, so negative X plus nine. 
and that's where x is less than or equal to 5, because we're just going to keep the left side the strong side, and it's 4, not 5. So negative x my, or plus 9, and x is less than or equal to 4. And then let's do the right side, so we're going to keep it as is, so x minus 4 plus 5, so x plus 1, where x is greater than 4. So getting used to the different tactics, being able to rewrite a piecewise or a, an absolute value as a piecewise function because it is two lines that are joined at the vertex. And remember, your x value for your vertex is your restriction on the right side. And everything else should be straightforward. Remember, to get your left side, you just change the sign of your a term and multiply it out. To get your right side, you keep it as is and just simplify so I hope this helps. If you've got questions, please let me know. Other than that, enjoy your practice, and I will talk to you soon.